Hello friends, we are back with third video of our lecture series Network Measures from Subject Social Media Analytics and today's topic is Transitivity and Reciprocity. So you might be wondering how this transitivity and reciprocity is related to social media analytics. Often we need to observe a specific behavior in social media network. One such behavior is linking behavior. Linking behavior determines how links are formed in social graph. So, in this video, we'll be discussing two well-known measures that is transitivity and reciprocity for analyzing these behaviors. So, before diving deep into what exactly the, uh, is the role of transitivity and reciprocity in social media analytics, let us find us what is dictionary definition of transitivity. So, definition for transitivity is a relation between three elements such that it holds between the first and second and it holds between second and the third. It must necessarily hold between the first and the third. I hope you might have come across these terms a number of times in your mathematics or during your 11th and 12th. So basically what transitive means is if A is related to B and B is related to C then A must be related to C. If you want to take a real life example of this, uh, we can just take it like if A is a brother of B and C is a brother of B, then A and C are also brothers. I hope the basic meaning of the term transitivity is clear to you. Our second term is reciprocity. The practice of exchanging things with other for mutual benefit, especially privileges granted by one country or organization to other. This is basically a dictionary definition of reciprocity. Just to give you a real life example, a shopkeeper is giving you 50% discount, right? So uh, why he is, he is giving you 50% discount? Because in exchange, he is expecting that you would buy that product. So this is known as reciprocity, wherein there is a mutual benefit. Now let's study this term one by one in detail. So our first term is transitivity. In transitivity, we analyze the linking behavior to determine whether it demonstrates a transitive behavior. Just for example, you can see this in a graph wherein V1 is related to V2 and V2 is related to V3. So as per transitivity, V3 is also related to V1. I hope this is clear to you. Transitivity in simple words is when a friend of my friend is also my friend. As shown in the figure, a transitivity of behavior needs at least three edges. These three edges along with the particular nodes create a triangle. Higher transitivity in a graph results in a denser graph, which in turn is closer to a complete graph. Thus, we can determine how close graphs are to the complete graph by measuring transitivity. So basically the main use of transitivity is Suppose as a social media analyst, a social media graph is given to you and you want to find how dense that graph is or you want to find how connected the users are in that social graph, then you need to measure transitivity. I hope now it is clear to you that how transitivity is related to a social media analytics. Now let us see how do we measure a transitivity in social media graph. Transitivity can be measured using two ways that is global clustering coefficient and local clustering coefficient. Global clustering coefficient is mainly computed for a network whereas local clustering coefficient is computed for a single node. So let us first understand what is global clustering coefficient. The formula for measuring global clustering coefficient is C equals to number of triangles multiplied by 3 divided by number of connected triplets of nodes. So you might be asking what exactly this formula means. Basically it means that firstly you have to find the number of triplets which are connected. For example V1, V2, V3. This triplet is connected which can be considered as one triangle. Similarly V1, V4, V3. This triplet is also connected and this is considered as a triangle. Now, apart from this, there is also V4, V1 and V2. 
this is also a triplet but this is not connected so in numerator we are only considering triplets which are connected while in denominator we are considering both the connected triplets and the triplets which are not connected i hope this is clear to you so in this figure you can see that there are two triangles that is v1 v2 v3 and second is v1 v4 v3 hence the number of triangles is 2 so you might be asking why we are multiplying it with 3 because in a triangle there are three triplets let us consider this triangle v1 v2 v3 right so first triplet is v1 v2 v3 second triplet is v2 v3 and v1 third triplet is v3 v1 and v2 hence we are multiplying number of triangles into 3 now coming to our denominator we are finding number of connected triplets of nodes so as we have already find that there are six triplets which consist of these two triangles apart from this there are two more triplets that is v2 v1 v4 and v2 v3 and v4 hence we are adding two more in denominator so after calculating we get answer as 6 upon 8 that is 0 0.75 so global clustering coefficient for this social graph is 0 0.75 which can be considered as highly connected i hope it is clear to you that what exactly is global clustering coefficient and how we compute it the second part of measuring transitivity is local clustering coefficient basically a global clustering coefficient is used to measure transitivity of entire graph while local clustering coefficient it is used to find transitivity of single node so formula for local clustering coefficient of node v of i is c v of i equals to number of pairs of neighbors of vi that are connected divided by number of pairs of neighbors of vi so basically we are having three examples so in first example you can see that number of neighbors of vi are one two three hence our denominator is three also number of neighbors of vi that are connected is also three for example uh, you can see that we uh, neighbor one is connected to two it is also connected to three similarly two is connected to three hence all neighbors are connected hence in this case our equation is three upon three that is one now let us consider second case in second case also our denominator is three because there are three pair of neighbors that is one two one three and two three so uh, our denominator is three but in numerator we are only considering connected pairs and in this case connected pair is only two and three hence our answer is one by three in our last example you can see that the number of pairs of neighbors of node v1 is three that is one two one three and two three but in numerator we are finding number of pairs of neighbor of v1 that are connected but in third case no neighbors are connected hence our answer is 0 upon 3 that is 0 i hope you have understood what is transitivity and how we are measuring transitivity with the help of global clustering coefficient and local clustering coefficient just to make it simple you can understand transitivity as we are finding a linking between different users on a social media graph now let us see the second topic of our today's video that is reciprocity reciprocity is a simplified version of transitivity because it considers closed loops of length 2 which can only happen in directed graphs so basically you can see this in this example that node v1 is connected to v2 and v2 is also connected to v1 so in this case we can say that node v1 and v2 follows the property of reciprocity uh, have any one of you ever used tumblr in that you can also see there is one field in which you can see that if you follow a person and if he follows you back then it is considered as a mutual followers reciprocity in simple words is if you become my friend i'll be yours friend now let us see how do we measure reciprocity reciprocity of a given social graph in an agency matrix is given as 1 upon m tr of a square wherein your a is an adjacency matrix 
and tr of a is summation of all diagonal elements and m is number of edges in that network. Note that the maximum value of summation is m when all directed edges are reciprocated. Now let us understand this with one simple example. So we have considered a previous graph wherein there are three nodes that is v1, v2 and v3. We have represented its connectivity in form of matrix form wherein you can see that v1 v1 is not connected to itself hence it is 0 v1 is connected to v1 hence it is 1 v1 is also connected to v3 hence it is 1 we are only considering an outgoing edges similarly the remaining matrix is formed so as per our formula for reciprocity is 1 upon a dr of a square we have first computed a square of our matrix a which you can see it here then the formula for tr is summation of diagonal elements our diagonal elements are 1 plus 1 plus 0 hence our answer for tr is 2 which is equal to 2 upon 4 as the number of edges are 4 the value of m is 4 and finally our answer is 1 upon 2 so in this way you can see that reciprocity for this graph is only half so we can say that this social graph is not satisfying much of the properties of reciprocity. So I hope you have understood the simple concepts of transitivity and reciprocity. You might have deal with this concept in your mathematics prior. Those concepts are applied to a social graph to understand how a linking behavior is observed in social graph. So just to recollect what exactly transitivity and reciprocity is, you can con just consider a simple example of Facebook. Suppose I am a friend of Ajay and Ajay is friend of Swati. Then indirectly I am getting uh, name of Swati in my mutual friends. So you can understand how this concept is applied in your social networking or social media. Similarly for reciprocity I have already given you an example in Tumblr wherein there is a concept of mutual follower which means that if I am following someone and if that person is also following me then it is considered as a mutual follower. I hope you have understood the simple concepts of transitivity and reciprocity. Have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.